let's rise up i want you to close your eyes and you tell the lord that today will be different for you impossibilities will be possible the invisible will become a reality things far away will be drawn nearer the year is running to an end we have just one month to go you tell the lord the blessings of this year must become full and complete before this next month passes out of existence again it must be done it will be done amen father we thank you for today we praise you because you are a god of all love god of grace god of power god of might we thank you because in heaven and in your kingdom there is no impossibility there is no other power to be reckoned with but your power there is no other place to be but in your presence there is no other blessing we can receive from anywhere except from your hand you make all things available you do all things well there is no impossibility with your children or in your church therefore lord as we come this very day we are praying O oh lord that you will do mighty great things in every life in jesus name all these young people who are here today all these older fellows who are here today O oh lord i am asking you none will ever remain the same in jesus name the things that they have been reaching after asking for claiming standing up for which has been eluding them today it will be theirs in jesus name put your hand of blessing upon everyone rain the blessings down thank you lord for the answer in jesus name i pray today i'm talking to you on something i count very important the year is running out this day is the very last day of this month november and just a month to come the year will end and i believe that there are many things that to you has looked impossible or have looked invisible or have seemed very far away and i believe that this is a good day that we ought to be thinking and talking about what seems far coming nearer or what seems invisible coming into reality or what seems impossible becoming a possibility how do we do that that's why i want to talk to you today on calling the invisible into reality calling the invisible into reality or making the impossible to be possible or drawing far away blessings nearer home but i title it calling the invisible into reality of course to do this faith is very essential because it is faith that brings the invisible into reality those who walk by sight will be dominated by fear and their prayers will always be ineffectual because they see too much of impossibility they see too much of difficulty 
They see too much of the enemy and they see too little of the promises of God, too little of the might of God, too little of the sufficiency of God. They do not know what awaits them that should be drawn nearer from the invisible realm to the visible realm. They walk by fear. They talk in fear. They think in fear. They plan in fear. Even when they pray, they pray in fear. And because of talking, living, walking, moving, planning and praying in fear, they are not effective in their prayers. Their utterances always limit the power of God in their lives. Their negative confessions make them to remain at the bottom of the ladder. Their negative confessions bind them, hands and feet, that they are not able to jump out of the snare. They are not able to jump over the hurdle. They are not able to get translated or transported from poverty to prosperity. Their language is the language of fear, not the language of faith. And their confessions will magnify the enemy, the need, the problem. No wonder these people only live in the visible realm. They never allow their faith, allow me to use this word, to catapult them into a realm of spiritual reality, spiritual abundance, spiritual prosperity, spiritual victory, and spiritual sufficiency. Those who know their God, on the other hand, will speak in faith, will walk in faith, will talk in faith, will plan in faith, will pray in faith, and thereby, because they are talking, they are confessing in faith, depending on the God who will never fail, they will bring the invisible into reality. You see, that is the realm of God. He's always doing it. He did it at the very beginning, in the creation of the world. He brought the invisible into reality. He did it for the children of Israel. They never thought that they would get out of the captivity of Egypt. But what seems far away from, for them? What seems quite impossible for them? What seems invisible to them? He brought the invisible into reality. I said it is the realm of God. God specializes in this. In fact, if you want God to do anything that is happy doing, it is to bring the invisible into reality. When the children of Israel had no water to drink, you know what he did? He brought the invisible into reality. Water came out of the rock. More than that, when there was no food to eat, and there was no market to even buy from, and there was no money or currency to even spend. You know what he did? His special work, he brought the invisible into reality. And he provided manna for the children of Israel for all those years. Apart from that, it's not only when he blesses, even when he brings judgment. You know what he does? He brings the invisible into reality. When he promised or when he threatened, that there will be rain upon the world of Noah. You know the people were thinking, where will rain come from for them? Rain was an invisible thing. But you know what God did? He brought the invisible into reality. When he threatened that Sodom and Gomorrah will be destroyed by fire, they were wondering, where will the fire come from? He brought the invisible into reality. The children of Israel had come to the borders of Canaan. And they wondered how they would be able to bring down the walls of Jericho. For them, 
what will they shoot what will they throw how will they dig how, how will they push the wall down and when they were going around and just shouting the shout of praise the shout of victory every day for six days all the people of jericho within the walls they were wondering how will these people without the instrument for warfare how will they bring the walls now you know what god did he brought the invisible into reality elijah came to the house of the widow woman and the widow woman was gathering sticks to cook the last meal with her son to die and then elijah said make for me first according to the word of the lord and then after that you will make for yourself and then all through the days of the farming he said you will not see need or lack or poverty or hunger or thirst what did god do what i'm telling you today he brought the invisible into reality in the new testament we are told of how five thousand men without counting children and women came together they had been with the lord jesus christ now how many days three days and as they have been with the lord jesus christ jesus said i do not want these people to go fainting by the way i want to get them fed the disciples immediately began to think how will they be fed they were thinking of the impossible of the invisible what did jesus do again what i'm telling you he brought the invisible into reality the case i'm going to delt, uh, delve into and deal with today the case of abraham and sarah but let me just mention it in passing now did he think that a child could come into the family again abraham was too old sarah was too old scientifically medically biologically it was impossible for them now to have a child again what did god do he brought the invisible into reality that's what we're talking about today calling the invisible into reality and i pray everything that has seemed far away in your life we will draw them to your life everything that has seemed invisible unto you i'm telling you by the grace of god by the power of god the invisible will be brought into reality in your life in jesus name not only that the things you are thinking about in your place of work in your family in your spiritual life at present they look invisible but praise god you are here today i said praise god you are here today the invisible the invisible will be brought into reality in your life in jesus name hebrews chapter 11 from verse 1 now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen notice in that verse of scripture things hoped for not in your hand yet far away things hoped for it is not a reality in your life yet it is still invisible and then it says the things not seen things used two different times there one things hoped for you haven't got it yet you want to get married you are still hoping you have not got her yet you want to have a life partner you have not got him yet you're still you're still hoping you want to get a job you're still hoping you are married you want to have a child you are still hoping the prosperity seems very far away the work you're doing now keeps you on the poverty level things hoped for still far away or it may be that the victory that you desire in your life things far away not there yet you have not got it yet it is still for you invisible far away 
things hoped for or things not seen what will make it a substance what will make it evident it is one thing it is your faith now as you look at that verse you will see things hoped for and things that are not seen as yet the invisible but then as you look at the verse again you see the substance or the evidence what was another word for substance reality what's another word for something that is now evident manifest plain to be seen in your life reality that's why i told you that in between things hoped for and the substance it is faith it is the hand of faith that draws the things hoped for to become a substance a reality it is the hand of faith the pool of faith the drawing of faith that makes the things not seen to become evident it is the faith in your heart the faith in your prayer the faith in your talk the faith in your confession the faith in your claiming the faith in standing upon your right that makes the things not seen to become evident in your life calling the invisible into reality verse 2 for by it the elders obtained a good report what it means is this you are not the only one that has felt that the things you are hoping for have not become a substance a reality you are not the only one that has felt that the things not seen will need to be manifest or become evident become a reality in your life the elders obtained a good report what it means is this all these elders we are talking about they lived at different periods of time remember joseph for him to to reign or to lead as god had promised him in a dream when he was very young it was something invisible it was something near impossible and his brethren they made it to seem as if the sin will never come to reality but that man he kept on believing by that joseph received a good report was the report that he brought the invisible into reality he lived at a different time from caleb i spoke about caleb last week you know what caleb did he brought what all the other people all the other spies all the others that went with him to spy out the land of canaan what he said that thing is impossible that thing is far away we will never receive that thing victory will never be a substance will never be a reality will never become an evidence in israel you know how caleb brought it into reality by faith he believed the lord and he said we are well able and yet joseph lived in a deep at a different time from caleb and then joshua he lived at a different time from joseph and yet he brought the invisible into reality in fact many many things that happened in joshua's life they didn't know they will cross river jordan by faith they did they went on they went on the very ground of jordan because it was parted in two how will they defeat jericho i spoke about that a few minutes ago by faith it was done how will they defeat ai after they had suffered a particular defeat before by faith it became a reality and then he needed the sun to be stopped in its course whoever heard of that faith did it in the life of joshua can you think about david he lived at a different time entirely from joseph caleb and joshua and yet what has become what goes out or what goes through every generation every period whatever your background whatever your situation 
whatever your age whatever generation you are living in what makes the invisible to always become a reality is the faith that you have when david appeared before saul when they took him to saul and he said he will defeat goliath you know what saul told him it said that can never be a reality it's a far away thing it's a far-fetched thing never even think or talk about it but david said i will his brother brother said you cannot he said i can all the other people said this man is a great warrior from his youth you cannot do it you know what david did he brought the invisible into reality and as you think about shadrach meshach and abednego what can you think about you can only think about the people that brought the impossible into possibility to be thrown into the hot furry furnace and yet to know they will not be born the promise had been there in isaiah nobody ever claimed it nobody ever stood upon it that when you pass through the fires you will not be burned but shadrach meshach and abednego they brought the impossible into possibility the invisible into reality by it the elders obtained a good report and if you are going to have a good report in heaven if you are going to have a good report with god it must be by your faith that you are able to bring impossible invisible things into reality verse 3 through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of god so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear can you see that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear that is things that you now see the mountains the rivers the trees the moon the stars the sun the galaxies in heaven the things that you can only see with um, some instruments these things came into existence they came manifested because of god's ability to bring the invisible into reality i told you that god always does this he specializes in this he has always been doing it and he wants to keep on doing it and i believe he will do it in your life even this very day in jesus name he will do it he will do it i now want to focus on the case of abraham i made some allusion to that before but i want you to keep in mind as i go through this case of abraham that we are the children of abraham by faith and as the children of abraham by faith we are to walk in the steps of the faith of abraham isn't that what the bible says look with me in romans chapter 4 romans chapter 4 verse 12 and the father of circumcision to them who are not of the circumcision only but who also walk in the steps of that faith of our father abraham which he had been yet uncircumcised that now that we are the children of abraham by faith we must walk in the steps of the faith of abraham you know what the faith of abraham did his faith brought the invisible into reality abraham in his faith brought the invisible into reality because he looked not at discouraging sights they were there 
but he never considered them. He did not believe they could limit the power of God working in his life. Therefore, he called the things which were not, as though they were. This is the secret of faith that brings the promises of God to fulfillment. Let's look at what his faith did. And as you walk in the steps of the faith of Abraham, this is what I believe God will do for you because of your faith in him. Romans chapter 4 from verse 16. Therefore, it is of faith that it might be by grace to the end the promise might be sure to all the seed not to that only which is of the law but to that also which is of the faith of abraham who is the father of us all before i go on i want you to see the importance and the centrality of faith in the life of anyone who wants to have a relationship with the Lord like Abraham had relationship with the Lord here verse 16 says it is not only for the people that are of the law but even for people that are without the law of Moses this is a way of saying it's not for the Jews only but for the Gentiles as well and so even though you are not a Jew just a Gentile just an African just a Nigerian or another kind of person a citizen of any nation outside the Jewish nation it says you can still be of the faith of Abraham because that Abraham is the father of us all when it says father of us all it means his life is a pattern an example for every one of us man woman child of any nation whoever you may be if you have the faith of abraham god will deal with you like he dealt with abraham will bless you like he blessed abraham will provide for you like he provided for abraham will take care of you like he took care of abraham because our god is not a partial god he has made abraham a pattern an example a father a person that goes before a pioneer if you like so that everyone following in the steps of that pioneer of that pattern of that example will receive exactly what abraham received and then it says in verse 17 as it is written i have made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed even god who quickness the dead and calleth those things which be not as though they were even god who quickness the dead that is the case may become impossible you know what human beings think about when somebody is dead they feel there is no hope now all hope is gone all possibility of doing anything with this man or woman or child is gone because he's dead but this god even god who quickness the dead when you have said now the case is impossible now nothing can be done god starts working and he calls those things which be not as though they were that's why i told you earlier that god delights in calling the invisible into reality but then as we look at abraham we see in verse 18 who against hope believed in hope 
that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken so shall thy seed be some things we need to gather from the faith of abraham one he received the promise of god he received the promise of god it appeared incredible impossible far-fetched it appears he will never be able to make it but we're told against hope he believed in hope this is what the lord expects of us when the case looks hopeless when it appears nothing can be done again yet against hope you believe in hope because you know that our god is able with him all things are possible and today this is a kind of attitude the lord wants you to have and i want you to neglect everything around you overlook anything or everything around you every danger every difficulty every impossibility every hardship every hurdle everything that has stood be between you and the victory overlook everything that is what he did that's what abraham did he received the promise of god he believed the promise of god verse 19 and being not weak in faith he considered not his own body now dead when he was about an hundred years old neither yet the deadness of sarah's womb he staggered not at the promise of god through unbelief but was strong in faith giving glory to god and being fully persuaded that what he had promised he was able also to perform so what do we learn from abraham's faith in calling the invisible into reality one he received the promise of god two he meditated on the promise until he could believe against hope when you meditate on the strength of your enemy you will never be able to believe god when you meditate on your difficulty you'll be having much difficulty believing god when you meditate on how difficult the situation is how seemingly impossible the situation is you are crying every day shedding tears every day and you are regretting every day and you are wondering why you are in a family like you are you are wondering why you are in this world at a time like this you will be finding it difficult to believe god but in the case of abraham he meditated on the promise of god until he believed against hope three he blocked out all physical evidences to the contrary he blocked everything out of view the physical conditions were there the deadness of sarah's womb the medical report the thing that he could see by sight even the deadness of his own body his old age he blocked everything out of view you see if you are going to believe god for the impossible if you are going to bring the invisible into reality you must block out every physical evidence everything that is telling you that this is a terrible case a hopeless case there's nothing that can be done you will keep on believing because you are blocking the physical evidences out of view you refuse to consider them number four his confessions everywhere every time were positive based on the promise of god he kept on believing god confessing positively giving glory to god all the time he kept on saying i know i will receive i know i will get it i know god will not lie i know god will not disappoint 
He kept his promise everywhere before the enemy, before the stranger, before the relative, before Sarah, before everyone around, everywhere, every time. He kept his confession positive. His confession was not based on the problem, it was based on the promise of God. His confessions were not based on the impossibility. It was based on the great power of God. Let your confession be based on the promise of God. On the power of God. On all that you know God has done before. The testimonies that you are hearing. You just had some testimonies today. And we hear testimonies here every Thursday. Every Sunday some of the testimonies are read to us also. We have so many of them. Of what God is doing. In our church here we find that God is not a disappointment. He hears our prayers every time. And testimonies come out every week. Base your confession on the power of God. On the promise of God. On the testimonies that you are hearing. Another thing about Abraham. He never lost hope. Even when others, even when it appears that the promise was being delayed. He did not make the delay a denial. He did not allow the delay to make him to feel everything will never be given. He has been denied. He kept on believing God. Never did he allow. Never did he lose hope. So that he will think that the delay meant denial in his life. Another thing. He kept on giving glory to God. He kept on praising the Lord. He never lost hope. He never cried tears. He never shed tears of regret. Tears of hopelessness. He kept on giving glory to God. I know it will be done. I know it will be done. I know it will be done. And the answer came eventually. And he even influenced Sarah to believe God. For the promise of God to be fulfilled. Sarah did not believe originally. But the positive attitude of Abraham influenced Sarah. Until both of them could now believe. And you know what the Bible says? If two of you shall agree as touching anything. Influence your wife until you can believe the promise together. Influence your husband until you can believe the promise together. And if two of you shall agree as touching anything, it shall be done. And eventually he called the things which were not as though they were. The impossible became possible. It became a reality. And today, this is what I believe will happen in your life. I want you to rise up on your feet. Today, we're going to call the invisible into reality. Rise up on your feet. Little child, you too can pray. Teenager, you too can pray. Young man, you too can pray. Men and women, we too we can pray. We're going to call the invisible into reality. Any problem, we're going to call that invisible thing into reality. The year is running to an end. Let us call the invisible into reality. Open your mouth. Open your heart. You talk to the Lord. It must be possible. It will be possible. It will be done. Tell the Lord. Tell Him what you need. Tell Him what has seemed invisible, impossible in your life. It will be done. The Lord will do it. Open your heart. Pray unto the Lord. And let us bring this invisible thing into reality. It can be done. It will be done. Does the case appear hopeless? Put your faith in God. Sick, you can be healed. Oppressed, you can be delivered. Barren, you can become fruitful. Jobless, you can become gainfully employed. Our God is able. 
He specializes in bringing the invisible into reality. Walk in the footsteps of Abraham, of his faith. Trust in the Lord. Pray in faith. This is a day of blessing for you. Assure God of your faith in Him and make up your mind that after this prayer you will continue to talk positively calling things which be not as though they were keep on praying this is your day of blessing walk in the steps of the faith of Abraham God is able God is able it is your faith in him that will bring the invisible into reality in your life and in your family in jesus name we pray amen today we're going to pray together in united faith and if we shall agree as touching anything it will be done and i want you to unite your faith with mine i believe god is going to bless you you too you need to believe god is going to bless you i believe there's no doubt in my heart god will bring the invisible into reality in your life unite your faith with mine unite your faith with mine so that what i believe concerning you you believe also concerning yourself that god will bring the invisible into reality in your life today unite your faith with mine and as we agree together your sickness will come to an end your depression will come to an end your oppression will come to an end your difficulty will come to an end the need will come to an end. Oh yes, the impossibility will be possible. Let us pray with united faith. Lay your hand upon yourself. Lay your hand upon yourself. Let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you today. I bless your name today. I thank you because the things hoped for and the things not seen you can give it a substance bring it into reality make it evident in our lives it is by this faith that the elders obtained a good report when you created the world the universe originally you did it by the things that do not appear so that the things that we see now are made out of things which do not appear things invisible and therefore lord i pray like you did it originally like you have done it in every generation answering the prayers of people i pray you will do it in the lives of people who are here today in jesus name that sickness in the body of that individual there i command come out in jesus name oh lord i pray the infirmity i pray the deformity i pray that all the weakness and all the sickness and disease in the bodies of these people that are asking for healing now oh lord i pray you will bring the visible into reality and you will heal them in jesus name lord i'm asking that according to your promise which will never fail because you said you are the lord that healeth us because you said in your word that sickness will not have the power the dominion over us that you will take sickness infirmity out of the body of everyone i pray that you do it now in jesus name for the child bring healing to them for the young men bring healing to them for the young women bring healing unto them for the teenagers bring healing unto them oh lord i pray the the sicknesses that are hiding in their body the pain the disease oh lord i'm asking that right now you take it away from their bodies in jesus name we plant our faith in you 
We place our faith in you. We know that you are the rock that will never fail. We know that you are the mighty one that will never fail. And therefore, Lord, we are praying now. You will heal your people in Jesus' name. For those who are jobless, provide for them. For those who are barren, I pray that you will touch them right now. That as this year is coming to an end, you will grant them their miracle in the family in Jesus' name. Whatever your people have asked you today, as we have united in faith, bringing the invisible into reality, I pray that you do it for everyone right here today in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I believe the Lord has answered our prayer. Do you believe? Do you believe? I believe the Lord has answered our prayer. I want you to raise your voice to the Lord and praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because I believe the invisible is brought into reality in your life already in Jesus name go in faith talk in faith confess in faith plan in faith move in faith as you go 